Hello and welcome again to Flight Sketch. Today we're going to show how to update the firmware on your altimeter and we've just posted a new version and this will be a quick overview of how to get it downloaded to your device. The easiest way is to start from the Flight Sketch homepage and then go into the links and under the beta test instructions page is where we've been posting the version update so far. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll notice there are two links 12 is the original firmware that was shipped with the device, and 16 is the update that we're going to be installing today. So if you click on the firmware 16 link, you'll see it downloads a zip package. And this has everything that, that the altimeter needs to install the new firmware. And you can see I've done this enough times, it's suggesting the NRF Toolbox app to open the package. This is an app that was in the links that I provided with the original instructions. If you haven't already downloaded that, you'll need that to get started before you begin. If it's not the suggested app, you can select more and scroll over until you see the NRF app. Select that to continue. So once you select that, it automatically goes into DFU mode. DFU is device firmware update. And you can see it's got the package that we just downloaded from the website. So now we need to pair it to our device. So if you go to the select device button, it'll show a list of Bluetooth devices that are in range. Depending on what you have in your house, there may be quite a few on the list, but to put the altimeter into DFU mode, start with the device turned off and then hold the push button on top of it. While you're holding the button down, turn the power on and you'll see a new device at the bottom of the list called DFU Targ. Select that, and that will link the altimeter to the app. So once you have the DFU Targ device selected and the firmware package selected, you can click on the upload button in the middle of the page. Once you do that, it will pair with the device and download the new firmware. It'll take just a second or two to complete, and then it'll give you a confirmation if it was successful. After it's done, you'll probably need to toggle Bluetooth on the phone off and then back on again, so it'll recognize the new device. From here, we can go back to the Flight Sketch app, and then it should show up in your device list. Select to connect, and then everything should work as before, except with a new version of the firmware. The details of this package are posted online. If you have any questions, please contact me. Hopefully this addresses a lot of the comments so far. And as always, if you have questions or feedback, please let me know. Thanks.